Yo, what is good? It's your guy Tico, guys, and we are back with NBA 2K22 current gen updates today. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Bruh. And guys, we are back. My setup is finally back the way it needs to be. I am 100% ready to go and upload videos. You will be getting extensive and crazy uploads. But before we get into that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, join the current gen, next gen, and the retro gen Gs. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified when the videos actually come out. Also guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Ticos to keep up with the latest and greatest news, gameplays, and everything you must know about everything in sports gaming, etc. And don't forget to hit that like button. It helps us in the YouTube algorithm. If you smash that like button, it helps us a lot to grow and get to 60K. The road to 60K is now. And we are back. So a little bitty short story time. So basically I had a situation happen where my capture card blew out, my monitor blew out, everything just stopped working. So I ended up going to get a new TV, got the Samsung QLED, and I had Elgato send me a replacement 4K 60S Plus um, a few days ago. And as soon as I plugged it in, it was not working. It was gone. I was devastated, but I got in touch with some fine people at Elgato and some people I've been knowing, you know, in the business. And uh, they made it happen for me where they actually sent me a new one. And this is the third one I've had. And this one is working. So I'm excited to just be back doing what I love to do. And I'm sorry about the hiatus and me being gone away from the channel. But if I don't have nothing to record with, I can't really put the videos out. And yeah, so you know we got to do it to the best of our ability on this channel. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. Welcome to Team Tico. Welcome to the current gen, next gen, and retro gen G. So we're going to talk about all the things that I missed. These are update recaps because other creators probably have put this stuff out. But you need to know from my point of view and the way I explain things and break it down. So let's get into it right now. I wanted to give a huge shout out to Lonzo Ball before I got into the episode. Um, Lonzo is going crazy right now with the Chicago Bulls. Last night, he put up a crazy game, hitting so many threes. I mean, just really in his bag. And I don't remember this Lonzo. The last time I remember this Lonzo, this Lonzo actually gives me UCLA vibes, right? So I had to go in and upgrade and update the Lonzo with the right accessories and all that, right? So shout out to Big Ball of Brand. Shout out to Lonzo Ball because this guy was out there doing his thing and I kind of wanted to go over a few things that I actually changed uh, in my attention to detail update for uh, the player likeness update and the accessories etc so as you can see we're gonna go ahead and look at the accessories you see Lonzo with his undershirt his leg sleeves his socks and his colbs and this is what he's wearing he's clearly braided up right now with a little bit longer hair than this so hopefully 2k can update the likeness update for lonzo ball and if they do we're gonna be good to go we're gonna have an up to date up to speed lonzo because when mellow came in, well love mellow came into the league he kind of got a little bit more attention than lonzo but lonzo now is shining with the chicago bulls so with that being said i wanted to show you guys lonzo and give lonzo a shout out you know what i'm saying so let's go ahead and go to all the players that i've updated in my attention to detail update uh for xbox right now this is current gen still working on next gen still working on playstation and i was going away so let's go ahead and go to chris paul i went and took the headband off of chris paul hopefully as soon we get a patch where they actually fix that and we'll have chris paul right those joints are pretty dope too but yeah this is my version of chris paul which is back to the normal way he's supposed to look this is the way he looks in the actual next gen version yeah. and i have a pool of players that i've updated to attention to detail keeping up with their looks daily as i see them on tv and on getty images you can see his headband clay right here updated go to the body you can see his the armband like the forearm band is there um the shoes everything this is the what this is what he's rocking right now so this is a new version of him i'll go do the contracts and everything else too as well like i did last year i just didn't want to do it at the launch of the game because i knew they were coming out with uh more you know different players and like more variations with new ratings and stuff so this is patty mills and i updated him to himself this is what he looks like he actually wears a furry band but i just had to put the headband on him because the furry band wasn't working for patty mills all right so we're gonna go to cam reddish cam is currently you know rocking a different hairstyle than this but i did put a furry band on him because this is what he's rocking this is how he looks literally in the game of basketball for the hawks right now in real life so 
I had to go in and do that as well. I kind of want to just go over these things because you guys need to see it. Even Damian Lee, the Warriors have been balling like crazy, and I wanted to go ahead and throw the furry band on Damian and throw all his accessories on him as well. Check him out. This is him. This is attention to detail. This is how it's going to be on my roster. Kevin Looney as well, too. I was on Getty Images and watching a lot of Warriors games. He's wearing a headband right now. He's got the sleeve, got the, you know, the shoes, and he's just ready to go. I know y'all want these rosters, bro. Like, it's going to be crazy. Let's go to GP. Gary Payton the second with the emphatic dunks. His hair is not long in this game, but he has the fade. But these are the updated accessories for GP the second. And he's notable. He needs to be spotlighted. And 2K has to get this guy right because now he's coming out and having a coming out party with Steph Curry and the Warriors. And he is a vital part to the Warriors. So you have to get him right. Romeo Langford. We know that he had the headband glitch. I just went ahead and did an edit where I put the headband back on him, the furry band, because this is what he looks like in the next gen version of 2K22. Uh, next generation as far as that little leg thing man, I ain't I still got to go in and edit and, and assign these guys to to teams Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again